watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you. And, um, and also, let's look ahead to 2018, which is gonna be another powerful year. I feel very, very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening, as we know, are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very, very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels. And if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading, then, you know, just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding. And for you, it might be that you, you've changed at home or you've changed your, changed your job or you've, relationships around you are changing, family circumstances are changing, things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way. And, um, and you're wondering why, why things are changing. And maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers. Maybe things just seem very smooth for you, but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic. Anyway, this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune, so where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook Live as well soon, <laughs> long promised, and I'll leave a link under the video as well. And that's it. I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis. So it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign. So I think that's everything. Have a fantastic year. And if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share. Um, ideas and, and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace and I'll speak to some of you soon. Bye. Hi, lovely Cancer, and welcome to your 2018 reading. And um, 
yeah just want to wish you a really great 2018 i feel as if cancerians are have still been kind of going through a lot of stuff and i just want to say to you you know it's it's quite a journey this journey of life when you feel things so deeply and you are very much about the heart about sensitivity about caring for others you often take on others feelings with the sign of the natural empath deeply emotional and deeply deeply self-protective so you know that that shell on the outside that hard seemingly hard shell on the outside is there to protect something very very soft underneath that soft underbelly and i think a lot of people underestimate just how soft that underbelly is and so let's just put this into some perspective here you've had saturn in your sign uh, sorry in the sixth house for the last few years and the area in which you've been really growing up has been the area of work and day-to-day -day reality so for some of you this will have been a point of real frustration for some of you the frustration will have been that you you're not working um, for some of you it will have been um, that you just you've had to learn about what it means to be um, what it means to be experiencing your day-to-day -day reality as an emotional being and I know that sound, sounds strange but it's the way I'm feeling it what it means to be walking through your life on a day-to-day -day basis as a very sensitive being um, and you've had to learn a lot of techniques to protect yourself to be more aware to figure out what you can trust what feels safe what feels okay for you how you can nourish and nurture yourself deeply to make that okay your body as well how you can look after your body and not allow all of these intense emotions that you feel to impact upon your health it's been it's, it's been quite a ride um, so with Saturn in that sixth house, it will have tested you. It will have tested your, uh, your not just your day-to-day -day reality, but your your routines, your physical fitness, your physical well-being. And now, thank God, it's moving out of that area and moving into the seventh house. And I think a lot of us are going to feel relief with Saturn moving away from Sagittarius because it doesn't like being there. It's like a party pooper it's a real killjoy but when it goes into Capricorn that's its own sign so it's going to feel better even though there will be lessons to learn and for you the next area of maturation is going to be okay now I've learned a lot more about myself my day-to-day -day reality my body my health I'm going to now learn about marriage and partnerships and trusting and coupling and collaborating with others you know it's not necessarily a, an intimate relationship but um, it will be for some for some there will be a deepening there will be an enriching of those bonds and um, you know some of you if you've had challenges or struggles in that area you might be thinking no way I'm on my way out or whatever um, I know everyone's situation is different but see what see what happens by the end of the next few years um, and for some of you you will have already noticed that there's been a deepening that there's been an enriching and if you're completely single at the moment this could be the year when you begin to realize that you've learned to trust yourself enough and to care for yourself enough to be able to allow someone in so and those are going to be the lessons of the next few years for you um cancer that you will be learning how to let someone else in or how to trust partnering in business with other people or just generally partnering with the world and feeling that you love yourself enough that you're secure enough in how you take care and honor yourself your self-partnering secure enough in your self-partnering for for things to be a lot easier on your body and your mind and your soul and your your general well-being so that's what the next few years have in store and the way that that will be supported by jupiter jupiter's been expanding your home over the last year your home your emotional foundation your emotional security your sense of you know being able to heal and let go of the past 
being able to feel like you can expand and grow out of that past and see it as a platform. You know, there's an old saying that when you hit the floor, use the floor to get up again. And it's been a bit like that. That's the kind of energy that, <laughs> that I'm feeling. And um, so, and now Jupiter's going to be moving into your fifth house. So it's going to be a lot more fun because that's much more about creativity and love and being able to enjoy things and children and you know all of those things that come from the heart that live in the heart area you know the fifth house is the sign of leo the sign of the heart the sign of being in your joy um and so that is going to support your general maturity that you've developed that will allow you to embrace all of those other aspects with saturn in your seventh house that will you know you've basically got Jupiter in the house of love supporting your maturity that you've developed over your ability to partner and be in a marriage. So it's going to be a good year for love, I would say, for Cancerians. And, um, you know, don't hold me to it. What It's what you make of it. If you choose to take those learnings on board and, and allow them to give fuel to your relationships, you will see what I mean. For some of you, it will mean leaving a partnership because you've learned to love yourself enough. You've, you've come to a place of powerful self-partnering that will allow you to say, no, I'm not going to settle for any less than I deserve in partnerships now. And that could be what your growing up has been. Okay? So, oh, okay, we're being drawn to the tarot for you. So we're going to go look at um, the John Holland Psychic Tarot, beginning, middle and end of 2018, they're saying. Being quite direct here, probably because they want to give you something concrete to hold on to. So, yes, that's where we stop. Past, present and future for Cancerians. Um, and beginning middle and end of 2018 okay so yours is mostly tarot so past love begins okay so looking back over a relationship or looking back over relationships that's what you've been doing you've been doing a lot of evaluating a lot of um thinking about relationships in the past things in the past things that keep drawing you back in wondering about the relationship that you're in and how that began and you know maybe maybe good things you know if it's a positive energy you could be thinking how great look how far we've come if it's not been so good oh my god why didn't i listen to the signs whatever it is it's like you're looking back over relationships and if it hasn't if it's unrequited or if there's something unresolved you could be wondering you know, could I go back? Could it work out? There's just a big link for you at the moment between the past, looking back over the past, and love, beginning of a love affair. So, um, and if you're single, you could be looking back over a love that, um, you know, a love that you lost, and dwelling on that a bit too much rather than looking to the future. And in the present, okay, so you've got deception and envy. So, that card, I don't always like those cards because I think it's easy to sort of feed energy into these things. But what I would say to you about the present is to trust your own counsel, to trust yourself, to trust what you see, sense, feel and hear and know about every situation, about everyone involved in a situation and about um, you know what you're being told uh, as opposed to... Um, yeah, what you know, your deeper knowing. Trust what you know. Trust what you know. Trust what you feel. And then sacral chakra, moving into a very creative phase, a very creative period where you will start to feel stronger within yourself and within what you really know and what you really want. And you might have had a glimpse of that earlier in the year. And then, I don't know, things, it's almost as if you've been derailed by don't get derailed so easily by think that by other people's judgments or by um, second guessing yourself or or anything like that. These things, you know, real or imagined, they only have as much power as we give them. Okay, so don't um, allow yourself to be dis derailed by obstacles. Go move into the future now because your creative future is there for you to manifest. It's there for you. The sacral chakra is there, a card of manifestation as well as creativity because they are the same thing. Each creation 
is a manifestation and your life is a creation and that is your greatest manifestation so make some decisions now about how you want to go into the future so we've got the beginning of the year beginning of 2018 lovely light dawns a lot of clarity even if things are not absolutely ideal yet there's a lot of clarity a lot more clarity about the direction that you want to go in about what needs to change about where you need to go next it's possible that you're leaning on some kind of spiritual practice or um, ideology as well to pull you through something you're seeing things around you you're having certain understandings things are becoming clearer even if you don't see the whole picture yet you are about to see the light in this first part of 2018 leading up you know through the spring um, coming out of the winter light dawns and you're ready to move ahead and um, the middle of the year so there could be some temptation back into old ways back into mistrusting yourself or back into an old situation that wasn't that good for you wasn't that healthy it could be a temptation to make yourself small again or to to mistrust your judgment about moving forward or to have fears that hold you back you're being asked to stay away from that and to keep looking back into this light and to keep going forward manifesting the future that you choose Okay, and towards the end of the year, where are we? Transformation. I love it when that card comes up because what it means is that whatever seems to be happening around you now and whatever you are thinking and, and, and sort of moving backwards and forwards around in the beginning of the year, there is no doubt that you are on course for a complete transformation, an overhaul, I'm hearing, of your entire life. And it's going to be wonderful. But you have to make it happen, Cancer. No one can come in and do it for you. It's up to you to make it happen. You are going to have some awakenings that are going to push you in no uncertain terms in the direction of your dreams. I've just shuffled the colour cards to see your overall. Purify your body. Your overall card. Okay, so you've been through a lot. And, you know, the ups and downs that you've been through, you, you need to really take you good 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 care of yourself and make sure that you're doing all the things you need to rest maybe look into some juicing if that feels right for you i'm not a medical practitioner but if it feels right for you juicing maybe raw foods drinking more water having, having more fresh air just really really taking care of yourself and that will support you in this transformation it's going to be fantastic i feel like i want to pull one more card from the archangels Crystal clear intentions, it doesn't get any better than that. I'll put that up to next to that one, the card of manifestation. Trust yourself, my guide has just said. I <laughs> came through really strongly with that. Trust yourself, okay? End of story. Trust yourself. That's all it is. You need to make these changes, you need to make them now, and you need to trust that everything's going to be okay. We are with you, I just heard, from the angelic realm. So you can't ask for much more than that. Cancerians, lots of love to you. If you'd like a personal reading with me, the link is under the video. I'm doing my personal year ahead readings now. They will be just about you, using your energy to tune into and just receiving guidance for you, answering any questions that you have and if necessary, channeling some healing towards you as well. All right, lots of love and light and big hugs to you, my cuddly, soft, um, <laughs> soft earth angel cancerians. It gets better, don't worry. And I will speak to you again soon. Take care. Have a great 2018. Lots of love. Bye bye.